Hey Scorpio, it's going to be a love reading for you guys, okay? General love reading. Okay, or someone could have water in a chart. Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Seven of Cups is about confusion, okay? Illusions, choices, options, right? The Hermit card. The Hermit card is the card of Virgo. You could be a Virgo or dealing with a Virgo, but this is about somebody really, take a look at this. This is like somebody thinking long and hard and contemplating about something, making the right choice. Um, or, you know, not making the right, the wrong choice, right? Somebody's definitely in reflective mode, um, doing a lot of inner reflection, trying to make some decisions. Somebody definitely, I don't think, can sleep at night. This could be you or your twin flame. Somebody's definitely not sleeping well at night. You know, definitely whatever this is, they're thinking about it day and night. And you see how the sky is blue. It's, you know, the clouds are here. It's the daytime, right? This person is thinking and thinking about multiple things and you know there's this one thing that this person um it could be a divine masculine is focusing on um but there's also a divine feminine here also um you know who's maybe thinking of this person at late at night or like i said this could be the same energy of the same person somebody's up late at night they can't um you know Stop thinking about whatever this choice is. I can't stop thinking about you, right? And whatever option this is. Yeah, look at that. Twin flame card, okay? 1111 card. If you guys watch tarot, then you know, like, this is like one of the twin flame identifiers. So you could also be dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. You don't have to be. It's just energy. Four of Wands is about celebration and happiness. And this person, I think, is definitely up at night thinking about how much happiness and joy that you bring them. Or you're up late at night thinking about the happiness and joy that you bring them. The stability that you bought their life, the peace and the joy that you brought their life. Like you, you, this person is thinking about the good times, the good memories. That's good energy. Yeah, see, they're definitely thinking about the good times and the memories. The Knight of Wands is, you know, about oh, a little bit of nostalgia, adventure, happiness, um, fun, flirtatious energy, lighthearted. You know what I mean? Like, almost like they forgot about the horse in the background, right? This person is so, like, they came on the horse. They didn't even tie the horse up. They're so carefree. And they're beating on this drum. All they care about is this energy that they feel or this feeling that they're feeling. Okay, you guys. So this is, this person is thinking about the passion. Um, you know, your twin flame is thinking about the passion, the attraction, the happiness, the joy. Okay. Let's clarify the seven of cups. Why is the seven of cups here? Why is the seven of cups here? Okay. Judgment, so they could be thinking about a Scorpio, or you could be a Scorpio, or this is about a reconciliation, but also making a decision, right? This is about making a judgment call, and we obviously can see, like, this person is definitely thinking about something very intensely. Very intensely. Why is judgment here with the Seven of Cups? Why is judgment here? Okay. Walking away from something to find their um, happiness. Walking away from something. But this person is trying to make a decision to, you know, you could be a water sign or your person could be a water sign. Again, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, and then, or a Leo, right? This person could have Leo in their chart. Or you could be a Leo. But somebody's really trying to make a decision on whether or not, like a judgment call, they're going to move on. Walk away from something old. Really, the Eight of Cups is about walking away from something that no longer serves you. Like, leaving this cup behind is leaving something emotional behind and, like, abandoning. This person feels like they're abandoning something or they would have to abandon something. Like, almost like jump ship to go towards this happiness, right? It's like, you see how they're walking away from the shadow out of the darkness towards the sun and then literally you guys we got the sun yeah 
that's what this is about. I'm just saying, that is that look, yeah, and a wish fulfillment, nine of cups. They want to walk towards a wish fulfillment. And, you know, this could be you. They're going to want to walk towards you a wish fulfillment. You know what I'm saying, you guys? Um, you make them really, really happy. Uh, you're definitely a wish fulfillment, right? The Nine of Cups is like everything before the Ten of Cups, which is everything before the family. Um, so that's like a wish, a fulfillment, something that they just really find quite hard to obtain or never experienced before. You know what I'm saying, you guys? Why is a hermit card here? Think about a hermit card. Ooh, somebody is thinking about some sort of deception. Deception, 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 lies, fear. Something unknown. You know, the moon could be dealing with a cancer or a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius, right? And then we have a two of swords. So air energy, air sign, and more uh, cancer, water energy. But somebody is really like... There's something about someone fearing something or some things. Somebody not choosing to see the light of something. Choosing to see a situation for what it is. For some of you guys, it's going to resonate differently for all of you. Remember, this is a general reading. If you need a personal reading, that link is below in the description box if you need one, okay? But, um... And let me know what part of this is resonating for you. But like I said, it's going to be different for everybody. There is some sort of lie or deception here. Um, for some of you all, it could have been self-sabotage, choosing not to see something, um, or not make it. Somebody feels like they're the um, the, there's some rule or, or you know blindfold or something over their eyes. But this person can take the blindfold off if they choose to, but they're choosing not to, right? And in this picture, I'm drawn to the card, like the, the, the crows here are like holding the strings um, that are kind of wrapping around her head. And remember, this is swords are always about mental, inner mental anguish. You know what I mean? Inner mental confusion um, over a decision that needs to be made but not knowing what the right decision is right now, you know, or not being able to see what the right decision is right now because there's so much maybe lies and deception, you know, things are much deeper, you know, um, or there are lots of fear and of the unknown of something, right? You know, whatever this is, though, I'm telling you this, it definitely involves some <sighs> seven of swords energy type stuff, you guys, you know what that is. Right. All right. Let's pull one more card on this situation. All right. And yeah, resting. So four of swords, more air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is like somebody's taking a break from the deception and the lies. Somebody decided to take a break from the deception and the lies. So some of you all may have your back turned to this person or they may have turned their back on you. Like that's taking a break. Maybe not communicating. Bottom of the deck is the magician. Could also be dealing with a Gemini. Again, like we said, there is a lot of air here. All right. Let's see what else is going on with this situation. Let's see how this person feels about you. How does the twin, their twin flame feel about them? Okay, well, they want a new beginning. <laughs> Ace of Pentacles could be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. This is like the card of commitment. This is like the card of uh, tradition, right? Um, something tangible. It takes a while to get there. Um, you know, this is a card that you, something can be built long lasting, right? Somebody does want to offer you. A twin flame is thinking about you and offering commitment with you. Okay, that's all they can think about. <laughs> Ace of Pentacles. This person in your twin flame may want to give you a gift, make some form of offer. You know what I mean? They may want to make an offer of um, some form of commitment here, but they're waiting. They're waiting or you're waiting. Two of Wands, Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, and then Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn again. 
It's like, there's someone, a divine feminine could be waiting for a divine masculine, or it could be vice versa. It could be the same earth sign, like, waiting to try to figure out, like, waiting and planning, right? Trying to strategize. This is that two of swords energy, too, right? This is like the wait before the move or before the action. Somebody's definitely thinking about how to offer this king of pentacles is definitely like the commitment guy, right? Or the commitment queen. You know, this is just energy. Could be a male or female. This person definitely thinks, you know, there could be an age difference too. Someone could have long hair and the other person could have short hair. Um... But there's something here that definitely is like you match each other's style or personalities or something, right? There's something here similar about your styles here that you, you guys may hear that often or, you know. How is this into a plain field out then? Oh, oh, car just went tumbling. Hold on. There's this eight of cups again. You know, they feel like you're walking away and moving moving on without them. Like you're moving towards their happiness. Like, like you know, like they're going to lose you. Like it's too late, you know. Or they're fearing it's going to be too late. You know what I'm saying? Eight of Cups. Could be Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Yeah. So I think, you know, this person is like, Nine of Cups, right? They know that you're going to move on, walk away. <laughs> and they're like, no, don't move on, walk away. Please don't move on and walk away. Yeah. Uh oh, ooh, you guys see that? Okay, way too many cards. Thank you. And then the one card that was out was the Four of Swords. So some of you all may, this person may want to apologize to you and you're like, no, I'm not hearing it. Or they might be on block, right? They might be on block. You might not want to hear what you have to, this person may, your twin flame has to say because there's some trust issues. Maybe you feel like they left you out in the cold, abandoned you, right? That makes sense because the two of you really are supposed to be learning a lesson. That's what the twin flame journey is about. Um, how does this person feel? Let's, let's see. How does the twin flame is, oh my gosh, is this eight of swords. They feel trapped in a situation. Okay. More air energy. Let me see what fell on the floor. Okay. So this is the Eight of Swords and the Tower card, Scorpio and Air Energy. But this person, whatever the situation is, they feel really trapped. There was some sort of ending for some of you all. Something happened abruptly that's got this person mentally stressed out, right? There could have been an abrupt ending between the two of you all or like you a pause, an abrupt pause in communication. Um, High Priestess Energy. This is about following intuition. This person really wants to follow. You could be a Pisces. Somebody could be a Pisces or a Scorpio. And then we got the sun card out again, right? So like I said, this is something about joy and happiness. Like this person knows, or you know, like your twin flame knows intuitively, you know, who you are and what you mean to them. Like they know this, you guys, okay? So, and they know you are their happiness. Um... And you're the person that gives them joy. If somebody feels alone and left out in the cold right now. Five of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy. Over some lies, over some deception or deceptive behavior. Over a third party situation, right? Or this person could be thinking about the old, you know, the memories of the time. that The joy that you had and brought together. Somebody's waiting. More Earth Energy. It could be waiting to reunite, right, after an ending, right? Because this death card could be a Scorpio. But after this ending, they might want to, they're waiting to try and figure out a way to transform something and grow it and invest it um, and reunite. Because the Three of Cups can be reuniting or third party. Like, you know, for some of you all, that's exactly what you were dealing with. You know, I, 
after some lies were told or something wasn't right or something came out and somebody felt abandoned and left out in the cold. Blah, blah, blah. Now let's pull some Twin Flame trigger cards and see what's the message for you guys. What does your Twin Flame have to say? How they feel about the collective spirit? What does their Twin Flame have to say? How do they feel? Let's do a few more cards. Oh. Okay. These cards are really funny, you guys. So just beware. I just want union already. Yeah, this person is definitely thinking about commitment, right? They really do want a commitment with you. I can tell you that now. Um, I called in a meeting with my spirit guys because of you. So this person is praying like <laughs> it's not funny. It's it's really not. I mean, I'm not laughing, you guys, but you, this person is literally like speaking to spirit about you because they, like I said, they know in their intuition what's right. But this person feels trapped in the situation. They're trapped in their head about something that's holding them back. I wish I could punch your third eye open. <laughs> Somebody's not trusting their intuition. Or they want you to trust your intuition. I don't know. You know, the problem is I can't trust you. So someone could feel like you don't trust them or there's some sort of trust issue here. Obviously, you act like a little bitch sometimes. Ooh, I've never seen that card. That's weird. Um, somebody's dealing with somebody who is a... Um, uh, a brat or something. Yeah, let's pull some more cards and see what else is coming up. What else? What, is, what are the messages for the Twin Flames? What are the messages for Twin Flames? Messages for, oh, okay. That wanted to come out. It's going to come out. Messages for Twin Flames. They will call you. Yeah, we know they're going to call you. They're definitely going to call you. So if you guys aren't talking right now, you're on block on a break. You're going to hear from them. They're haunted. I'm haunted by my decisions and the memories we made together. Didn't we say that, you guys? This person's up thinking about day and night, thinking about the memories, thinking about how much fun you guys had, thinking about how much joy you brought them. Grass is greener. I need time to see if there's better romantic options. Okay, so someone here is like, you know, maybe not budging, you know, or not able to move or feels trapped in a situation. And somebody else is like, I need options. I need to see other people. Maybe that happened already. Maybe somebody decided to see true love. Somebody decided to, uh-oh, hold on. To see other people. Okay, true love. Yeah, they definitely know this is a divine connection. Shut down. I'm swearing off dating. Have no desire to be with anyone. So there's definitely somebody here in that four. Remember the four of swords came up like quite often. Several times. Somebody's not talking to somebody. Somebody's definitely shut down here. Alright. So turn these cards falling on the floor. Commitment. Yeah. When I think when I think about my future, I see you. This person is definitely thinking about commitment with you guys, okay? If you were unsure about that, don't be. I choose you. I'm sorry for taking so long to realize it's always been you, okay? So, yeah. What else? What else? Okay. For every change, you changed my life without even trying. The old me is dead and gone. Yeah. Like I said, you guys, this this is a... This, Twin flame um, journey is meant to, you know, ch change you both, right? Um, and learn these lessons. It doesn't always mean you're going to be with the twin flame. Pretending. I'm pretending to be happy that all is fine, but I'm miserable. So somebody here is pretending like they're happy. So, you know, for some of you all, that could be pretending that you're happy in another relationship. Pretending that everything is fine with you in your life and this person can't even get their thoughts and feelings together. You know what I mean? Because they're just stressed in this eight of swords energy about a situation between the two of you, you two. 
You know what I mean? Let's get some messages from the Divine Masculine. What the Divine Masculine want to say to the Divine Feminine? Okay, Divine Masculine can be female or male. Doesn't matter. It could be same sex. Okay. Apply it where it fits. Messages from the Divine Masculine. Messages from the Divine Masculine. I miss you a lot and want to see you. Okay. Messages. Okay. Let's stop there. I miss you a lot and want to see you. Right now, I'm working to build a better future for you and our kids. So this person is definitely thinking about having a family with you or commitment with you. Okay. They're th they are thinking about the future. I want to be craved by you. I want to you to think about kissing me as much as I think about kissing you. Yeah, you know, this my person's mind heavy. I can't tell you goodbye. So this person's like not able to let you go, you guys. I said that like several times. I don't know what you did to them. <laughs> you set my soul on fire. Literally, I mean, you guys definitely did. This person knows this is a divine connection. Every piece of me aches for you. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's move on. Pull some more messages. All right, what are the blockages? What does the twin flame need to know about the blockages going on with their person? What are the blockages? What are the blockages? Somebody's playing games. Someone doesn't know how to stop playing games, messing around, immature. There's also somebody dealing with somebody who's immature. That won't grow up. That's an air sign. Situation could involve a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. We said that, right? There's an air sign here who is immature, plays games, taking shortcuts, not doing your job well, not fulfilling commitments, lazy, causing more work for other people. So this person could like not be a team player, you know. This person's not, or somebody feels like they are fulfilling their obligations or yeah, somebody can feel like they're not fulfilling their obligations or their obligations are the blockage, right? And somebody's disappointment, things not going in your favor, someone or something has caused sorrow, right? Somebody is extremely disappointed and upset, glowed up, a physical or mental transformation for the better, looking yourself in the mirror and making a change. So for some of you, all this person could just feel like disappointed, like you could see you moving on and they just feel really disappointed that they missed out or they're afraid they're going to miss out and you're going to move on, like I said, without them. And they're trying to make choices. This card just fell on the floor in reverse. Having options, the ball is in someone's court to be decisive, okay? Somebody just needs to make a decision. Remember that earlier, like... We'll see if they're going to make any a move towards you. All right. Let's see. Cheater. So sleeping around while having a partner, having a partner, not playing fair, unfaithful, and not committal. So somebody is, there was a third party situation here. Somebody was cheating. Um, yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Choo, choo, choo. What else is going on with this situation? What other messages for the twin flame? What do you need to know? Aries. Could be dealing with an Aries, you guys. Sag could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Too many. Could be dealing with an Aries. The karmic is jealous, okay? Could be an Aries that's jealous, okay? Uh-oh. And Sagittarius just popped out again. So somebody's in Sagittarius or has Sagittarius in their chart. Too many people involved. Yeah, there's too much drama. Somebody's got too many people involved. Somebody's still in their business, has everybody in their business. Can I see you soon? So this person wants to see you very soon, or you may want to see them very soon. 
could be dealing with a Capricorn or could be a Capricorn. I'm not fully healed. You triggered me. Okay, that's what this twin flame journey is about. I'm so attracted to you. Okay, so there's definitely some toxic energy here. Like, I'm, somebody's definitely not fully healed, and you may have triggered a healing in them, right? Or vice versa. Or this person could be a Virgo or have Virgo in their chart. What else? What's the planes? Uh oh. Eight. Card down. I'm tired of the back and forth. So there's some sort of sort of cycle here that you guys are going through, some sort of karmic cycle. Okay. Yep. Too much drama. <laughs> Too much drama. That's a karmic cycle. And I think somebody's just tired of it. He ain't you. So somebody's like, he's not you or she's not you. Like, you know, yeah, this is definitely third party stuff. Okay. All right. Last message. She's toxic. Okay. So somebody's dealing with somebody else who's toxic and they don't want to deal with this person. And they said you, they're, they think about you all the time. Let's see what action this person's going to take towards you. What action or is a twin flame going to take towards them, the collective? Okay, well, there, here's some actions. Six of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, moving towards calming waters, coming towards you. Reconciliation. This is this is this is going to move towards reconciliation, you guys. Just so you know. Okay. Air sign energy, Scorpio energy. A decision. Somebody's moving towards making a decision. Or a reconciliation. Yeah. For a new beginning. For some of you, it's an Aries. Right? The Fool is about a new beginning. Making a decision to take a new direction. Yeah. Yeah. And celebrate Three of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Knight of Swords. There's your action. Or listen, that could also be making a decision to start something new and cut a third party, right? Because we've got this Knight of Swords here. Then here's another Knight of Wands. What else? Nine of Swords. So somebody's definitely in their head, can't sleep at night, trying to figure out this decision that they want to make. And the bottom of the deck is Page of Pentacles. So I don't know if your person's like really, really ready um, because they're coming through as night energy. So this is more of young energy to me. This feels younger. Earlier, we saw the King of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles, was, which was mature, a more mature energy, like somebody has grown. But like in this night energy, I don't know, it's definitely action, but somebody is just stressed and can't sleep about this action that they need to take. It's almost like they're upset that they may have to cut something out, you know. And this page is about a message. They may have to, you know, bring some message to a queen of swords, right? Or an air sign or somebody who's not going to take BS or this could be the toxic person. Yeah. Could be that toxic person. Ten of swords. It's like this betrayal. So somebody's going to feel betrayed. And there's that devil. There's a Capricorn here. Could be a Capricorn. That betrayed an air sign. Page of Wands, kind of like player energy. Yeah. Yeah, that's the situation. Let's pull some signs and see who you're dealing with. Um, Taurus could be dealing with the Gemini, could be dealing with the Aries. Wait, this isn't supposed to be in here. Uh, could be dealing with a Leo, could be dealing with a Virgo, and a Cancer. Okay, guys. Uh oh, drop one. Let's let's go ahead and see 
if there are any messages for you, right? Because, I mean, I guess, like, advice would be helpful <laughs> in your situation. Because this seems like a lot, you guys. Um, I know you guys are, like, you know, in Empress energy or Emperor energy. You know, we'll pull some... So I'm not worried about you guys too much, but this is probably still a little bit stressful for you. So let's get your advice from the messages from Mermaid Deck and see what is the collective, what is the advice for the collective dealing with this twin flame situation right now? What are their messages to become their highest self in this situation for the greater good of everyone and all? Have hope, keep hope, and patience. <laughs> okay, have patience. Meditate, maybe. You see how she's meditating in this card? So, have a little patience. And then have some hope, right? There's a rainbow in the background. She looks cold, you know, like she wants to move towards this direction, towards, and she's curious about this rainbow. So, you know, to me, this is saying, like, there is something good, light at the end of the tunnel, tunnel or like a rainbow, something happy on the other side of this experience for you all. So just think positive thoughts in dealing with the situation. You know what I mean? Um, and, and have more patience and compassion for the situation, but for yourself. Um, because, you know, patience and hope is something really important here for you. Obviously. obviously. One more card. Get one more card for you. Yeah, and healing. Okay, so you guys are healing right now. So your friends and your family or a soul tribe group or new group of friends or something, you know, or new social group may help you here too. Or sharing your story with other people is going to help you heal. So just, just know that. That's actually kind of cool. But it's like you're waiting for something. You're waiting for the sun. Almost like how this, remember we kept seeing, we talked about how we saw the Eight of Cups and she was moving towards the sun. This is you doing the same thing. So maybe that was your energy. And uh, you guys are in solitude right now too, like in hermit mode. So just take it easy. You may have to be spending time for yourself because after you come out of this healing process, a miracle is coming in for you. Something that you've been asking for, like, you know, something better. For some of you, it could be a reconciliation that you weren't expecting. For some of you all, it's new love on the other side of the hump. Okay? So I hope that resonated for you. I love you guys. Love and light. Namaste.